Can we please make that a thing? She called her. She called him Johnny. It was the first time she ever said anything nice about him. Twenty years later. Yeah, Twenty years later. Twenty years later, we get a new cast of characters, and uh, Johnny has showed his age. Yep. So, they're, they're gonna they're gonna come up with their own shots in a few seconds. Mm -hmm. There we go. We have Cassie Cage to the left. In the middle, we have Kung Jin, and to the right, we have Takeda, who is actually the the son of Kenshi. Takeda or Takeda? Takeda. Okay. And and um, Kung Jin is actually the cousin of Kung Lao. And that there is Jackie. Jackie, Jackie Briggs. Jacqueline Briggs, yes. Who didn't lose her arms, but she has enhancements for her arms. Yeah. I have to admit, metal gauntlets would be a cool stuff to see if you're that, Adam. These heads are are curse. Well, me. <laughs> Ca Cassie and Jackie are part of the special forces. Kung Jin is is um, part of the Shaolin, and Takeda is actually part of the Shidai Ryu. Everyone's got their own backstories here. A new generation, as Elliot was saying right. earlier. Yes. So I have to confess, the new generation thing. I would have liked to see something like Street Fighter and Tekken. Mortal Kombat makes me feel a bit uneasy about that, if only because of the fatality system. Oh, uh, I know what you mean. Like how Cassie can do fatalities to Johnny and Sonya. <laughs> and vice versa. <laughs> yeah. Well, Jackie, <laughs> looks like you're done lost. But me and Mama can try again. $20 of missing on my wallet? You know what that means. <laughs> you, better believe you got an F in school? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the ultimate of disappointment. Disappointmentality. <laughs> Shamality. Shamality. <laughs> and actually, that fight with Shinako is actually the last part for Hold on, who's that? Uh, the Rico. What's the Rico Accord? So, what's Kotal Khan? Kotal Khan's actually going to come up in a bit. Okay, who, what's the Rico Accords? The Rico Accords, it's somewhat like a peace treaty. Okay. Signed by Rico? Well, I'm surprised they gave him a character arc, because all I remember from Reiko in Mortal Kombat 4 was, hey, I want to be Shao Kahn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, 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 that's it. That's all the I know. I remember, I remember his ending, too. And to the left, we had Aaron Black, and to the right is actually Ermac. That was a weird fucking ending, too. Like, he just sits down in his chair, and the pelvis just, like, <laughs> beats the shit out of Mortal Kombat 4 on the N64. He just walks through a portal. <laughs> Oh, Kano's returning, looking mighty uh, aged there. Yep. I, I hate that machinery. fucking... We, I just say, I hate his douchebag chin beard. <laughs> we ha we it's also, a total douche beard. Yeah. We also have Devora, and to the in the middle of there is actually Kotal Khan. Kotal Khan. He looks like Ogre from Tekken. The, there's actually a part, the back, there's actually a part in the backstory where Kotal Khan wasn't actually blue. <laughs> he was tan. Huh. It, is, is it makeup? I don't think so. Devora is a bug lady. Yep. Yeah. Like, as in, that's not just one thing. She's actually made up of insects, if I remember correctly. Well, she's one giant insect. Meanwhile, up there, we see Melina and we see Rain. Yep. Now, what's the backstory with Kotal Khan? Because I would say when people first heard the name, they were thinking Shao Kahn ancestor, Shao Kahn relative. Shao Kahn's creepy uncle? Yeah. He, he's just the new ruler of Outworld. Okay. So, if you're, I guess if you're a ruler, is Khan a, a title? I'm pretty sure it is. So his first name is Kotal. Yeah. And so Shao Kahn's first name is Shao. Meanwhile, there's which means he's Asian. There's a whole load of Turkatans, and there's Tanya, who was recently made playable. Yeah. Speaking of which, um, if you purchase the combat pack, you would get early access to characters that would be released soon. So when Jason was the first one to come up. You get the combat pack for 30 bucks. you get Jason early. It's 30 about a week. Bucks. Okay, I thought it was 20 for some reason. You get the character about a week early. Okay. Th then, How it, whoa, how'd you get that thing? We'll, we'll get into that. Yeah, it's been 20 years since Shinnok's been sealed in the amulet. And, now and Kano stole it and sold it on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> and Melina bought it. <laughs> um, I believe the next character we're supposed to get is Tremor. Tremor? He was actually an exclusive character for the Challenge Tower on P MK9 for the Vita. Oh, okay. Huh. But who do, who's available now for download? Right now we have Jason and Tanya. Just Jason What about Tanya? Predator? Predator's last. Okay. Oh shit, we're caught in the The Predator's already here using stealth mode, though. <laughs> are we really in Outworld? No, what? Yeah, we are. Good for me. What's actually, funny, what's actually funny is that um, as one of the costumes for Predator, we get Jax as Carl Weathers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like that just for that idea alone. Aaron is all about the guns. He's a, he's a cowboy ninja. Cowboy ninja vigilante. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> no, he's a cowboy ninja vigilante. What his loyalty is basically as deep as your pockets. One of his variations, actually, is that he has a Tarkatan sword. 
You and like in Mortal away. Kombat 9, the Tarkatan race just gets completely shat on. <laughs> well, they're all to be fair, they're Tarkatan, so I'm not going to mess them. <laughs> Only one that's important is Baraka. Everybody else is fodder. Oh, yeah, Baraka. He's another one. Oh. Is that a Mayan curse word? I don't know, but it's a language. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a racial slur for Tarkatan. And QTE, go! Nikano secretly hired to take care of Koto Khan. Most likely by Molina. Oh, now he's pissed. Is that the hard implant thing they're trying to do from Suhao? No, uh, I don't know, actually. That's a good point. I never really thought about that. Me neither. Ow! <laughs> That's okay. He, he's fine. Shake it off. <laughs> <laughs> what if Kano encounters an error and needs to shut down? <laughs> You'd be my boss. Ow! That hurt me more than a goddamn skull cracker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this game is a lot more brutal than MK9. Well, MK9 was brutal. This is just this is off the wall. It yeah, is. I would say brutal is the the right word. Not so much gruesome. It's it's glorious though. Yeah, it is gloriously brutal. I suppose we must refuge in audacity for this. Actually, funny enough, one of the main characters I play as is actually Aaron Black. They well, don't have 50 million, does she? Yeah. <laughs> 50 million yen. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit! No, 50 million Canadian pennies. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I am playing as Kotal Khan in his Sun God variation. What's Sun God variant? Sun God variation is mainly when he uses his powers of the sun. My preferred variation for Kotal Khan is actually his War God variation, which is pretty much he has a big ass sword. <laughs> what the fuck was that? That was actually a shield. Uh, ow! ow. <laughs> and I spit hot fire. <laughs> Kano's in the cybernetic form. What's cybernetics? I don't. I have. I don't really play as Kano. That's the other thing. As much as you played, you have not exactly experimented with every character. Not yet. every character. Have you been veering towards the new generation more than the old characters, or not? Not really. I mean, I do play as the old characters, but some of the new generation I actually do playing as. Ow! Ouch. You just stabbed you through the neck. Broke your top of your spine. Anyway, there's something you probably can't show off in this mode because, you know, story mode and all. Fatalities. Brutalities. Brutalities. No, brutalities, no, you can't show off here. Well, let's explain them, shall we? Elliot? Brutalities, pretty much. Um, you, when you do a certain special move, but you do, you also do another task that requires the brutality to happen, then you would instantly win the match. But, uh, let's... You gotta, you gotta chain it properly. Yeah. Sometimes it requires you to hit a certain button. Sometimes it has to be the last hit. Other times it has to be, you also have to do it a certain number of times to do it. It's a bit tricky, to say the Australian least. Australian Mercenary versus Song God. <laughs> you are well, worth the dingleberries on my ass, though. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which. Ow! Just want to say, though, I do like Koto Khan from a design aspect. Personality-wise, too, because he's not an outright. He's not. Uh, he's not evil. Like, he's not a dictator. No. He's just. I don't know. But the name is unfortunate, though. Yeah, you, you think you hear Khan and you think Shao Khan and all that. By the way, I am utterly surprised that this is like the most loyal I'll ever see Tanya. <laughs> yeah, tr uh, Tanya. I don't remember four much in Tanya, but she was like Tanya was a backstabbing bitch. Yes, <laughs> that's all you had to I, know about her. The only thing her I remember, loyalty was depending upon how her breakfast was made that the, day. The only thing I know of Tanya was was from Deception playing the story mode. Right. And well, like, Tanya was the Edenian who allied with the heroes at the first, but it was quickly found out that she was actually the traitor to Edenia. Same thing happened in uh, Edenia in Deception as well, where she wanted to go home, but she couldn't because the Deadly Alliance apparently intercepted her, and so she had to go work for them because it was at her die. Tanya is actually more of a practical sort that she is, well, she's evil, yeah, in the sense of whatever scale you want to wage that on, but Tanya is ultimately more of a pragmatic sort. She'll do whatever helps her live, so to speak. So to speak, yeah. But and, this uh, game, they're actually making it so that she gets a free Edenia, because apparently because of Shao Kahn's death or whatever, there wasn't any proper separation between Edenia and Outworld, and she is fucking your shit up. Yeah, I know. She's pretty fucking quick. But another thing that, uh, as Elliot demonstrated, was a Tanya demonstrated earlier, 
Uh, borrowed from Injustice, there are now stage hazards. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, for instance, she threw an old lady. Yeah. <laughs> well, stage hazards isn't the right word, because technically stage hazards have been a thing since Mortal Kombat 1. But uh, stage interaction, I should say. Yeah, that, that, I think uh, that would You can be press the shoulder buttons to interact with certain objects. Some things you can just throw at your opponent. Sometimes you can just use the environment to get a rebound or bounce off and get some distance. Uh, in this stage's case, you can throw the old woman. <laughs> uh, the, she has a name, doesn't she? No. I'm I thought she did. Uh, yeah, I think she did. She does, because you get an achievement for throwing her the first time. I don't know. Whoa, oh, I wanted to jump off the tiger. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the way of my tiger jumping action. <laughs> Was he an action figure now? <laughs> Kotal Khan, the action figure. Comes equipped with Tiger God. Yeah. He glows in the dark, too. <laughs> Fitting the Sun God form. Oh, Matt, another thing. I, I, I knew I forgot to ask you something before we started this Let's Play up, but did you want it to continue the Mortal Kombat 9 trend of likes and dislikes? Uh, ah, shit. I should have. I forgot. The <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, Kotal Khan. Likes the sun, dislikes the moon. <laughs> <laughs> also has a thing against Inkins. Oh, the tiger's fist. Ow! Fucker! Bitch! <laughs> Ooh, the, the rare fucker bitch. <laughs> I confess I caught that Pokemon one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She'll live. She'll yeah, walk, he stabbed her to the She'll walk it off. That's light and raising. You are a fool to trust Melina. Liu Kang. Likes Revenants, hates Raiden. You don't even have a name tag. <laughs> <laughs> why, don't you, are... why don't you just fall down? <laughs> Are you Baraka? Baraka? No. Are next? you Baraka? No. <laughs> well, what is Johnny Cage like and dislike, Matt? From the same thing as the last game. Yeah, I was gonna, uh, I would say that the uh, the likes and dislikes should apply more to the new generation. Okay then. Kano was to kill you, miserable snake. I am not a snake. Ergo Tene? <laughs> that's that's Tarkatan. For what? Th they're phonetically spelling it. Yeah, Be because unlike the time with with Nightwolf towards the end of FK9. <laughs> They actually give subtitles to what they're saying. <laughs> yeah. I actually like Melina's redesign. I do too. It's a little more modest. As opposed to the other clothes she was wearing, where she practically wear fucking nothing. <laughs> yeah, hotel mana, bitch. <laughs> hey, Rain. That is actually true. Bullock. Bullock? I give this an Adenian curse word. <laughs> no, that's the sound you make when you're inside Rain's water bubble. Bullock. <laughs> Bullock. <laughs> Blug, blug, blug. Uh. Ow, damn! <laughs> Drop kick, bitch! Oh, I'm gonna feel that in the morning. <laughs> we didn't have something oh, for that. I fell on my knife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with Rain, it might take me two tries. Hmm. Rain dislikes defeat after all. Defeat and poverty. I hate Rain. Why do you hate Rain? I hate Matt's rain. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes more sense. For those of you at home are wondering, why do you hate Matt's rain? That's what, that would be one of the reasons. <laughs> the spit kick her around the world. <laughs> Fuck. I fucking hate that attack. The super kick? Yeah. Because I was able to set Johnny up with so many combos with it. It is that. It is such a fantastic combo uh, setter. Come on! Come on, you Elliot. Gotta it's gotta... Elliot, it's not like I'm playing with him. It's like, um... I'd rather, I'd rather ha not have that happen. Oh, okay. Like I said, this might take me two tries. That's fine. Rain is putting, rain is putting a rainy cloud over your sun god. <laughs> <laughs> I got sunshine <laughs> on a cloudy day. <laughs> rain goes, oh. And Rain's like, yeah, I'm walking <laughs> on sunshine. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, oh, yeah. And don't it feel good? <laughs> oh fuck! Rain is just wrecking your shit. You and think? I'm doing it. By the way, I like how at first Rain's introduction was just purple ninja off the assembly line. <laughs> that, and ever since they, ever that was since, like legitimate story. But what is ending when they revealed that he was Edenian loyalty by means of being the brother of son of Argus? I forget which one. Son of Argus. Son of Argus. Son of Argus. Son of Argus. Oh! Got all wet. Anyway, see what I mean? He's a but dick. It, yeah, but it damn brought your day. Here's the skip fight button, but I'm not going to do that. Anyway, I want you to recall. Once they found out Rain's proper loyalty and heritage, or rather that was his ending, but so to speak, they decided to play that up. So now he has more of a Middle Eastern kind of look to him. Yeah. 
And yeah, I'm which sure. is actually kind of refreshing when you think about it, because prior to Rain, what do we know about Edenian males? Yes. Good question. Yeah, all we know is about Edenian females. It's, it, you know, it, it's really weird that we bring this little character tidbit in Mortal Kombat X of all things, but Rain initially started as a, uh, as a joke character. Yeah. Purple initially Rain. in Mortal Kombat 3 arcade machines during the attraction mode, um, you would see all the characters duke it out. If you had a good eyesight for a split second, you would see a purple ninja right. run towards yeah. the character in the portal stage. However, what gave it away that Rain wasn't actually in the game was that the font of his name on the health meter was different compared to all the other fonts in the names. Right. And the fact that he wasn't in the game, period. However, people still were rampant about that sort of shit. It's the same as like with Ermac in Mortal Kombat 1 and 2. Right. Same thing with Scarlet, actually. Uh, Scarlet is also an ascended joke. I'll, I'll ask that in a second. Uh, but in... Well, uh, Rain finally became an official character in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 and Trilogy. Is Rain playable in this game? Nope. Shit. No, he's not. He was DLC in the uh, other one, right? Yeah. That uppercut he does where he f blows to the ground and it goes upward and it, that takes a lot out of your health. Yeah, it Fuck does. Fuck that pose. Um, what was the origin with Scarlet? Uh, Scarlet, she was actually a glitch character. So then, like, it was between, I think... I actually forget which two characters it was, or it was probably Katana. Well, female, so it would have to be one of the uh, Edenia soldiers. Yeah. So. But then, like, MK9 comes, and you know, like, let's make it a character. Yeah. Uh, you know, and to the credit, I love how the guys over there like to do stuff like that. You know, they make they make realities out of dreams. Yeah. Right. You, you know, know, like people Ermac. Are, people are, yeah, people are saying that people think Ermac's a thing. Uh, and now he's a telekinetic yeah, with a hell of a story. Let's, let's, let's make Ermac. Well, unfortunately, that makes Ermac's reliability utterly inconsistent. Not because, you know, but that's because that's part of the character. Yeah. Ermac is good or evil depending on which soul has the most possession of him. Yes. There Rain is just a pompous jerk-off. <laughs> I'm still waiting on Hornbuckle. <laughs> I'm still waiting to play with Rain again, Johnny. <laughs> Can we not? Can know, we the, not? I mean, see, but Matt, at least you have Rain. Yeah. I'm never going to have Hornbuckle. <laughs> I like how the guy wh who's like who's like holding the carriage is still sitting there. Shoot him in the hand. So, so do I. When move? is this traffic moving? <laughs> this is a god awful traffic jam. Kotokan, I'm so. Where did everybody go? I am a king. I actually do like Aaron Black. Today's forecast. Oh. <laughs> you don't want to finish that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would be surprised if that water was yellow. I like the little wanted poster behind her. I would have loved it if it was her MK2 sprite. <laughs> okay, so if a female were to be Emperor of Outworld, they would be called a condom. Right. A what? She does technically have the most um, reign to the most claim to the throne by bloodline. Come on, Ellie. Pretend it's me playing her and you, got, you want your payback. You think so? Even though she's a magical manifestation? Hey, if it's bloodline's bloodline, what do I give a shit? Thing is, they're not going to respect her. Nope. No, and that's a that's a plot thing for Melina is that what she has no respect. Fuck! It, it's just the thing is like everyone knows that she's a, a well what they classify as an abomination because she was made of Sarkhan blood and, a and katana. sorcery. Watch him call it. They actually have a joke with her that um, Johnny Cage points out that she slept with Baraka, and she's yeah. not happy about that. I saw that. You saw her sleep with Baraka? God damn, dude! <laughs> that was a really weird sex take. What were you doing there in the first place? <laughs> there was a lot of teeth. You can find it on Kano's eBay page. <laughs> <laughs> he has everything. <laughs> now we're giving Katana, make Melina, decent, the same treatment. The Black Dragon's got to make a decent living after the events of last game. There are times are hard. Earthworm was, in, uh, Earthworm was going through a lot of shit lately, so yeah. And you never know. There's always probably a marker for that kind of shit. Hey, Kotal Khan with the choke slam. <laughs> Kotal Khan's about to go for an elbow drop. <laughs> <laughs> he does look like a wrestler. Yeah, you kind of see it. But like I said, though, like twice now, actually, he reminds me of Ogre from Tekken. Is that Tekken 3? Yeah. Okay, I, I thought Damn. I remembered that. Damn. Kick in the face! Boot to the face! <laughs> Sandal. There will be an execution this day. We already technically were executed yeah. through Yeah, uh, do the Tarkons behind us not count? <laughs> <laughs> no, some of them are moving. <laughs> that's not an execution, that's a war. Son of a bitch. Hey, that's cheating. <laughs> that technically is. Damn, it, viper it vaporizes. Yo, her hand oh. got cooked. Burned her hand. 
Ooh, let me put some water on that. <laughs> uh, should I overdid it? Here's some water for that burn. <laughs> I must apply to the burn area. No, literally, you're I burning. Tell, I teleported again. Uh, what? The only thing I do not like about Kotokan's design is his drill nose hair. 